It's nine o'clock. <laughs> Good morning. I want to, I'm told uh, that we're streaming live, and I want to help everyone come together to kick off for the second day of the SUNY Online Summit here at the Global Center. Um, very, very excited to uh, kick off the second day with you all. How many people were here yesterday? Okay. And how many people are just here for the first time right now today? Meg, hey. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Chris, awesome. Um, so welcome to the 21st Annual Summit here at SUNY. This is the first uh, SUNY Online Summit. It's had many um, evolutions and incarnations over the years, and we're extremely thrilled um, uh, to be here again this year and to be here at the SUNY Global Center. I want to thank Anthony and the whole crew here at the, the SUNY Global Center for all their uh, technical support and help and the live streaming and and um, the amazing location. I hope if you were here last night you had a chance uh, to get out and, and tick off some stuff on your bucket list, if that's what you might have wanted to do, or have a really good meal. Um, we're very, very happy, um, happy to be here. Um, if you work for SUNY um, online or for Open SUNY uh, in some capacity, can you raise your hand? I just want to... Um, have everyone be able to see who is in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. And if you are from external to SUNY, could you raise your hand? Just want to see some speakers in the crowd and some others. Awesome. Um, and then if you're from one of the SUNY campuses, let's just see who you are, please. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here together with us. If you're online and tuning in virtually, if you wouldn't mind um, popping um, the hashtag SUNY Online uh, Summit uh, in your Twitter uh, feed and saying who you are and where you're from, what institution you are representing, so we can get a sense of the virtual audience as well. Um, so uh, I want to mention that whether you're here in this room or whether you're tuning in virtually, you can ask questions today of any of the presenters by using Slido. Um, and you just go to slido.com and put that um, hashtag in there, um, and you'll uh, connect to the space in Slido that we have for asking questions. Um, we also, you can also uh, either tweet a question or DM one of our amazing Twitter team folks uh, a question as well. Did you get that, Christine? You want me to go back? <laughs> Um, and so the Twitter team will post uh, this information in, in the Twitter stream, but if you're not um, in Twitter, um, this is the info. So this is our Twitter team, and um, you may recognize um, Aaron Maney, who's been our Twitter captain for um, many years, and, um, and the folks who volunteered uh, this year to live tweet this event. Um, I'm very appreciative of everyone, uh, but in particular, these folks who actually um, had some training <laughs> uh, and, uh, and are willing to um, uh, to live tweet the the event, so thank you very much to them. Um, I wanted to mention that if you are not yet an Open SUNY Fellow, uh, that you can um, join as an Open SUNY Fellow by going to that bit.ly. It's bit.ly slash join Open SUNY, and it is case sensitive, so you'd have to um, go there. Um, and then I also wanted to recognize the group of folks um, who have contributed uh, their advice and suggestions and tips uh, to this um, this event, um, and we have um, the folks who are here listed on the uh, on the on the slide. Um, this year we have uh, Lisa Melhusky, who is. Um, representing, can you raise your hand, Lisa? Is representing Doodle, um, and uh, Doodle has um, very kindly um, reached out to engage and to provide some additional feedback and um, and suggestions. So, if you're part of Doodle, could you raise your hand, please? 
if you're a member of Doodle, excellent, thank you. So they're sponsoring a couple of the presentations uh, today, our first presentation um, uh, today and, um, and tomorrow uh, the, for the first thing. So I'm very um, happy to have all of the folks who have provided their insights and recommendations and suggestions uh, to, the, um, to, to this event. Um, I wanted to mention, uh, and I've mentioned some of these things yesterday, but this is for the folks who may not have been here yesterday. We're doing a video project every year, if you've been here before. How many people have not been here to the summit before ever? Okay, awesome. So every year at the summit, and we do one year in New York City, and then the next year we go to Syracuse. So next year we will be in Syracuse. Um, but every year I do a video project. And um, my partner in crime is Jeremy. Where are you, Jeremy? Not here. <laughs> anyway, um, we I'll, when he comes back, I'll I'll uh, I'll point him out. Um, this year, we're collecting videos on a, a variety of strands. And so, if you have anything to say, if if you are interested in chatting um, and extemporating, you don't have to over prepare for this or prepare even. It's just talking about what you already know and what you already are doing. Uh, but if you're doing anything around mobile learning, we're collecting um, your general thoughts about that and maybe some specific thoughts about some standards that we're going to be adding to OSCAR. Uh, so I'm collecting some videos for the oscar.suny.edu site for, for that. Um, we're also interested in talking with people who have gone through the SUNY IR implement, um, uh, the sorry, the institutional readiness process, campuses and folks who have gone through the um, Open SUNY institutional readiness process. So if you have, we'd be interested in getting some testimonials about how that ha that work has um, affected or impacted you in any way. Um, we're also looking at um, uh, some general um, uh, comments about the SUNY online implementation. Uh, so we'd love to get some of the coaches um, and those guys with the t-shirts. I want a picture of you guys. Um, and uh, and some of your thoughts about um, uh, how the SUNY online implementation is going. Um, we also want to capture some general um, thoughts about what a community of practice, this community of practice means to you and, and how it benefits you, what, what the benefits are for you. And we also want to talk to our ambassadors and to our speakers. So if you're, if you're going to be recognized today as an uh, Open SUNY uh, ambassador, can you raise your hand? I want to know if, you're, if there's folks in the room. Okay, not yet, okay. But later this afternoon, uh, we're gonna be recognizing them formally. And did I already ask for speakers to raise their hands if you're in the room? Any of the speakers from today, if you could raise your hand? Okay, great, all right. Uh, so reach out and network and meet people that you haven't met before or talk to the speakers. This is part of uh, being uh, an active and enthusiastic member of this community of practice. So I'm, I'm happy to be able to have you guys, uh, you know, connect over lunch and the breaks and, and, and so forth. Um, here are some links and I will post these so, and they'll be posted in Twitter so you don't have to um, stress about the, the very tiny you know, URL links here but um, there's lots of stuff to, um, to share in terms of, um, of links and information. We have some badges that we'll be um, uh, distributing um, around this conference so the effective practice winners will get a, a badge, the speakers uh, will be recognized with a a testimonial um, in their badge. The ambassadors will also uh, have a testimonial. Um, there's some uh, social media badges that you can earn if you're interested. Um, and then, of course, everyone who's here will be recognized uh, with a commemorative summit badge. So um, just wanted to mention that those are going to be available. And, um, and you'll be getting information about those in, via email. I mentioned already that we're going to be recognizing our SUNY online teacher te teaching ambassadors. We have a wonderful new class for 2020 of, of ambassadors that we will be recognizing. Very thrilled to uh, have these folks, some of these folks here with us present uh, today at some point. Um, and for all of the ambassadors that are that are being recognized today, we're very um, excited to help you to share your enthusiasm uh, for online teaching with your own um, campus community as well as the larger SUNY community. So um, 
uh, thank you very much, and we'll be talking uh, um, with them individually, the ones that are here later today, this afternoon, actually. Um, we're also going to be doing, um, uh, presenting our Effective Practice Awards, and this is a community award uh, recognition program. You all have voted for your favorite effective practices, and um, we're going to be recognizing the three um, um, effective practices that were nominated in a variety of strands um, and um, uh, that received the most votes in, in this program. So we're very, very excited about that. Also coming up today will be our um, annual, our 11th annual unsession. Um, so if you haven't gone to this bit.ly yet, which is bit.ly slash unsession 2020, all lowercase, um, to add your name and something that you want to share with the rest of us, I would encourage you to do that now um, or any time during uh, the day before that session so that you have your slot. We'll go in order and uh, you'll have your slot um, and you'll have your three minutes to share something cool that you're doing on your campus, something interesting that you learned and want to share, something um, that uh, it, that you would like to share with the, with the rest of the group. So I'm looking forward uh, to, seeing, uh, to seeing that. Uh, and I think that's it for me here. Did I, what did I miss? Thanking Nancy, thanking everyone, Carrie and Kim and um, the provost and, um, and everyone for their support and their help. Um, this doesn't happen by itself. There's a lot of people involved who help to make this event possible, and so I'm very appreciative of everyone. Please take a break whenever you need to. There are going to be breaks today, a morning break and an afternoon break, and we're going to have snacks, good ones, um, and hopefully coffee. <laughs> Um, so pl take a break whenever you need to. Bathrooms are off to your left. We're going to have lunch here. Lunch, you can bring your food back in here or you can go up uh, to, there's a cafeteria. There are places on um, the fourth floor um, uh, where you can actually sit and eat around a table if you would like to. So, uh, so please feel free to um, to roam about the building and find yourself a, a nice place to have lunch. If it's nice outside, there's actually a courtyard up on the third floor that you can actually go outside. Um, what did I forget? Did I forget anything? I don't think so. All right. So I'm going to start us off um, and introduce... Um, Danielle O'Brien, uh, who is the Director of Online Learning at the SUNY College of Technology at Alfred. And as I mentioned earlier, um, this is a Doodle-sponsored presentation, and we're very excited to have Doodle's engagement uh, in this event, and Danielle in particular, um, and Lisa, um, who will be doing a presentation on gaining perspectives, and I'll let you take it from here. Thank you. We are going low tech today. Okay. <laughs> all right, thank you all. And before we get started, anyone who's joining us virtually, there is on the Twitter stream a link to a document that we're going to, you can jump into and work in. So feel free to do that if you want. Um, we are going to be passing out handouts here. So we're going a little old school with paper even. <laughs> no, no presentation, back to paper. Uh, for our activities. So like Alex said, I'm the Director of Online Learning at Alfred State, and I'm the Secretary for our Doodle Group. And I'll have let Lisa introduce herself once she's all set. Do you wanna? <laughs> um, I'm Lisa Malaski from SUNY Fredonia. I'm the Online Learning Coordinator there. I'll have another one. Oh, right. there's some more. All right, so we're here today. We really wanna promote some collaboration. We learned a lot yesterday, right? There was so much information, and I think, I hopefully I'm not alone in feeling a little overwhelmed, right? We need to understand kind of how to unpack this a little bit, so that then we're able to focus for the rest of the day, take in new information, and really be able to engage in the next two days. So this activity is adopted from Cy Wakeman's reality-based leadership, and it's a model that Doodle has been working with for a little while, we're trying to um, build our own leadership skills as a group, and we're bringing some of this to you. So uh, really, in our organizations, a lot of times we're asked to think outside of the box, right? Think outside of the box. Think of 
to something new, think of something innovative. And what we want to challenge you today is to kind of think inside your box, right? So we all have very real limitations on resources and time. And we want to take that into consideration today, right? We can all come up with the next best thing if resources were not an issue, right? We get asked that all the time, probably. If, if money wasn't an issue, what would you do, right? Well, sure, I have lots of things that I would do if money wasn't an issue, but it always is, right? Or my staffing or the number of people and time that we have to devote to things. So we're going to ask you to think inside of your box, given your resources that you have on your campus or that you foresee coming very soon. Um, what, can, what are our challenges? So we're going to have you think about, brainstorm your four major challenges, right? And keep these brief and simple because people will be responding to them. So an example of a challenge may be, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the money that comes in, right? That's, that's, a, that's a good challenge to have, right? I don't know what I'm going to do with that, <laughs> OK? Um, <laughs> Everybody want, knows how to spend money, right? But, but going back to that, that budget panel yesterday, right? How are we going to allocate this? What does the larger conversation look like, right? When the money shows up, what do we do? Uh, it also could be, you know, we're so new to online learning at our campus or to online learning in this way. How do we have these conversations with our faculty? Like, how do we have these initial conversations, right? Because that can be scary walking into the room with your first group of faculty saying, we're going to try to engage in this new SUNY online thing, right? <laughs> what, what, is, what is that going to look like? What does that conversation feel like, right? So it could be any kind of challenge that you are trying to grapple with. And we're going to ask you to brainstorm four of them. So if you want to start writing, go ahead. We're going to give you about five minutes to come up with briefly um, your four challenges that you want help addressing. And you don't have to put your name on this, but we will make sure that you get your piece of paper back. So when you leave this session, you are going to have feedback from about six people about what you can do or ideas you could think about to help to address some of your challenges. Do you have anything to add? OK. So while you're um, working on your challenges here in the room, the folks who may be online, if you click into the Twitter, you're all going to be working in one document, <laughs> and you'll be listing out your challenges there. Or make a copy of it. Yeah, or make a copy of it if you want to. Yeah. But you'll have to be able to share that out in the chat area, yes, or on Twitter again. Yes. No spell check, and good luck reading everyone's handwriting. Lisa and I were talking about this, that most of us don't really write anymore. So, <laughs> so it's going to be an exercise for our hands as well. All right, so, okay, yep, so we've got the timer running. We'll give you some time to think about your challenges. If anyone has questions throughout, just raise your hand and, and Lisa or I will stop by. If you need challenges, we're happy to provide those too. <laughs>
a two minute warning while you're writing your challenges. Just one giant challenge? So one minute to finish up. Twenty seconds. Get those last words down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. All right. So that's time. So what we'd like you to do now is take a look at your four challenges that you have. The one thing that you have the least control over, go ahead and cross that off your list. The least control over. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, so once you have that one crossed off, um, we are going to have you renumber. So if you crossed off number two, if you could number your three and four now, two and three. So we want to have one, two, and three, just so that folks, when they're responding, know which one they're responding to. So renumber yours, one, two, three, with whichever one you left crossed out. And now, I mean, for collaboration, this room was really quiet and it's probably going to stay that way because we're going to have you pass your papers now, right? So you can still talk, feel free to, but we're going to have you pass your papers six times. So you're going to get six people who are going to respond to your one, two, and three with solutions. All right? So yes, and we're going to time it each time. You will have five minutes to respond to their one, two, and three. So try to give good feedback. Try to give advice that you would want to receive and think about you know, if there's one that you don't know about, that's fine. Say, I have no idea. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, maybe someone else will have a good idea. And then um, focus on the other two, right? So focus on the things that you, that you have ideas about or that you think you can give some feedback on. All right. So go ahead and pass your paper to someone around you. All right. And we'll give you five minutes to give some feedback.
we know. All right, 30 second warning. All right, that's time. So now feel free to pass that piece of paper that you have to someone else. If you're here with a team, try to get some input from someone who's not on your team. You can pass it backwards, side to side. Shuffle it around. So one of my favorite things about this group is that none of us know how to follow directions. <laughs> 
So there's lots of paper passing happening when they're done. Feel free to do that if you want to keep doing it. Um, otherwise, we'll still give you those five-minute marks. <laughs> That's why we're the change agents, right? <laughs> so, one minute until our next pass. Okay, so that's time. Feel free to pass. You can stretch your hands if you need to, you know, wiggle your fingers. <laughs>
So you have a, one minute left on this switch. Someone needs one over here. We'll trade you. We can trade you. I'll put it here though. Two minutes.
Okay, when you're finished, this is the fun part. You have to find your paper. So that means we'll have to get up. You'll have to search for your handwriting if you did not write your name on it. So go meet some new people and find your paper when you're done. <laughs> I'm really challenging you. We still have a bunch of papers without owners down here. So come and find your paper. Look at, even Michelle found hers. It's, it's possible. No, by all means, <laughs> the microphone, Danielle. Look, even Michelle. Even Michelle found even hers. Michelle can find her paper. Right. Mine is gone. Michelle could do what anybody can do. That's, that's, that's our low true. bench. It that's really so is. We're lowering true. the bar. Look, that's next year's theme, lowering so the bar at SUNY. No. There it is. No, no, no. I will be the guest.
We don't want to see orphan papers, so just about one more minute to pick them up. So Larry took all the students online. Oh, okay. So, so that, there's going to be a couple. That's fine. All right, is anyone missing a paper who had it originally that wants their feedback back? No, looks good. Okay, so we're going to ask you to do one last thing before our session officially ends. We'd like you to find some folks around you. You know, they may be from your team. You may want to spin your chairs around, talk to someone who's sitting behind you or in front of you. Feel free to introduce yourselves if you haven't met them yet. Um, and then talk a little bit about your feedback and just kind of do a little debrief on what you might take back to your campus and try to start to implement. So are there any of these ideas things that you can actually do and start working on? Oh, maybe.
All right, so if we could all come back together, wrap up your conversation. Thank you all for engaging, for giving some great feedback to your faculty and your colleagues who are here. Hopefully you've identified some things that you can take back to your campus that you'll be able to start to work on and that you'll be able to kind of get out of this. Overall, how did we think that this activity went? Did it give you good ideas? Kind of thumbs up, thumbs down. Good? Okay. All right. Feel free to use this, right? You can use it on your campus. You can use it with colleagues. You can use it with students. So there, the activity itself can be adapted, and feel free to do that. Like I said in the um, Twitter, there is the Word version, so feel free to download that. Use it as you want to. Um, and we, we really do thank you. Is there anyone who wants to share out something that was really powerful or, or impactful that they learned or feedback that they got that was really great before we wrap up? Out of a group of people who I couldn't get to stop talking, no one has anything to say. <laughs> okay, go ahead. 
Can you just turn on your mic, though? Thank you. <laughs> It's, it's a little bit comforting to realize we are all continually fighting the same battle over and over. Um, so not encouraging, but comforting. <laughs> right, knowing that we're not in a, alone, right? And we have each other to rely on to help solve and brainstorm and think about these problems. So it's right, we're, we're all in it together. We're building the plane as it's flying, or we're all trying to figure out what online looks like at our campuses um, in this new world, right? but we're not doing it alone. So anything else that anybody else wants to share? It's amazing how quiet we get. Okay, anything? All right, we're good. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or need to chat more, feel free to reach out to Lisa or I or anyone from Doodle. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to thank uh, Danielle and Lisa and um, and Doodle for sponsoring this uh, this really cool, interactive, engaging session. And um, just want to uh, recognize them and thank them again for a great presentation this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna. Um, get started with our next session as soon as I can um